hi everyone uh, in this video uh, i would like to discuss uh, again uh, about carbon nanotubes carbon nanotubes are actually uh, non polar in nature they are not visible uh, in polar solvents and also if you want to change their properties uh, if you want to modify their optical or electrical or electronic properties you have to change uh, its structure Generally, these carbon uh, nanotubes are uh, made up of uh, carbon atoms with the sp2 hybridized uh, having one pi bond alternate pi bonds and uh, the bond angle is uh, uh, 120 degree and uh, if you can replace some of the atoms by other atoms or if you can functionalize this if you attach some functional groups polar functional groups you can make it soluble uh, in a polar solvents or if you slightly dope, dope means replace some of the atoms, carbon atoms by trivalent or uh, pentavalent atoms. You can uh, decrease the, you can create the charges and hence its uh, electronic properties are completely changed. Okay. Here what, first I am going to discuss about uh, one of the important uh, material which is being uh, used for oxygen reduction reaction. This is a very famous reaction we study in batteries and fuel cell in which they use nitrogen doped carbon nanotubes okay uh, we call them as uh, ncnts nitrogen doped carbon nanotubes this can be done by uh, two methods that is uh, method one is in situ synthesis in situ synthesis means we use same chemical vapor deposition uh, in which uh, we take nitrogen source or maybe some ethyl ethylene diamine dimethyl formamide imidazole on uh, some benzyl amine compounds as a source of nitrogen along with uh, the carbon source uh, along with methane or screen or ethylene benzene tolerant and we do the same process chemical vapor deposition that I have discussed in the previous uh, video. Uh, yeah, in addition to the precursors we also vary some parameters uh, like temperature, pyrolysis temperature uh, such as uh, uh, the heating rate, gas flow rate and also by modifying the catalyst we can uh, dope the nitrogen atom in place of carbon atom okay. uh, this is in situ method while preparing carbon nanotube itself we are doping this uh, nitrogen uh, this is called in situ synthesis other synthesis uh, post uh, treatment that is method 2 once you prepare carbon nanotube we go for doping that is a second step after preparing carbon nanotube we go for uh, doping uh, this normally requires very high temperature and also some nitrogen precursors, toxic nitrogen precursors like pyridine and ammonia and all. So because of this high temperature and toxic uh, precursors of nitrogen, this has less practical applications. However, people have tried uh, by this method, but generally they use uh, in situ method for the doping of uh, uh, nitrogen in uh, carbon nanotubes. As I told you, these carbon nanotubes are having uh, wonderful applications uh, in uh, metal head uh, batteries, fuel cells, uh, due to their high, uh, very good optical properties, and electronic conductivity, and superb mechanical properties. Let us look at the structural changes which can take place when carbon is some of the carbon atoms are replaced by nitrogen atoms. Uh, nitrogen is actually a uh, neighboring uh, element of carbon in the period table we all know that nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon uh, electronegativity is 3.04 and uh, carbon is 2.55 and the size is almost uh, same hence we can easily do uh, the incorporation of this nitrogen atom in a graphene or cnt uh, lattice plane could modulate the local electronic uh, uh, properties uh, as it could form strong bonds with the carbon atoms in uh, it is comparable size as I mentioned. Uh, nitrogen has uh, three valency, so it can form only three bonds. Okay, and it could also generate a delocalized conjugated system between the uh, carbon nanotube or graphene pi system and a lone pair of electrons. This nitrogen uh, make use of three of its electrons for covalent bonding and two lone pair for delocalization. So this is a method we use same method. We take uh, carbon and nitrogen source, except other other part is same what we have discussed in CVD. Uh, here we take carbon source and nitrogen uh, source along with this in situ method. Uh, this is the 
application of uh, C uh, nitrogen doped into carbon nanotubes we use for oxygen reduction reaction uh, in which uh, this will help in uh, reduction of oxygen uh, in the in acidic medium oxygen plus H plus and it accepts electron to form water. This is a very famous uh, cathode reaction that we study in most of the batteries and fuel cells. And uh, this is how the structural changes you can expect uh, if you do carbon nanotube or even graphene by nitrogen atom. We get actually four types of uh, structural changes uh, you can expect in carbon nanotube. Uh, one is graphitic, this is a red colored one, these are all nitrogen atom, red, green, uh, Okay, orange, all these yellow, these are all nitrogen dope. Some of the carbon atoms are replaced by uh, nitrogen atoms. We have four types graphitic nitrogen, which is present in the bulb that is red color. These are all graphitic, means they have not changed their uh, hexagonal structure. Uh, they still retain uh, that uh, hexagonal structure. They form three covalent bond and they have lone pair of electrons. This red colored one is a graphitic nitrogen atom bulb and uh, graphitic nitrogen atom edge. Okay. This is the edge nitrogen atom, uh, which is uh, at the end of the uh, edge of the carbon nanotube or graphene. And another one is pyridinic nitrogen atom. So this green color one, uh, this has this forms a pyridine. This uh, one, two, three, four. These are four carbon atoms, and with one nitrogen, uh, that the hexagonal ring is changed to pyridine structure. This is one pyridine, and this is one pyridine. As a result of that, the structural uh, structure is. Okay, this is the structural uh, changes uh, that we can expect uh, in case of uh, nitrogen doped carbon nanotubes. Uh, we get actually four types. One is graphitic nitrogen atom, uh, bulk graphitic nitrogen atom H. This will not affect uh, the structural change. Uh, the hybridization remains same. And another two is pyridinic nitrogen atom in which uh, it's a six member ring having one nitrogen atom. And uh, another one is a pyrolic nitrogen atom. Uh, pyrolic, this is yellow color, so it's a five member and these are all six membered uh, ring. I hope you understand uh, uh, this uh, doping of nitrogen atom. If you feel this video is uh, useful, uh, please like it, comment it and uh, please share it. And for further updates, uh, please subscribe. Thank you.